Well, one of the most haunted bodies of water is right here in North Texas. Reader's Digest puts White Rock Lake among the top spooky spots in the world. Our Ken Malasina takes a look at what's behind this new claim to fame. For your precious love. A lakeside love song for a ghost. When I wanted you. I was so lonely and so blue. Dallas R&B artist Ernie Johnson says he's known the stories about the Lady of the Lake since the 1960s when he would come out here thinking his songs would lure the spirit. So I figured it would bring her out to the lake. <laughs> that was so stupid. But you know, we did some stupid things back then, so it's, but it's fun. The Lady of the Lake story dates back to the 1940s and is the most prominent ghost tale at White Rock Lake. Many people over the years have claimed to have helped a young woman in a soak dress out of the water. Then they offer her a ride home, and when they get to her house... When they turn around to look at her, she's gone and there's just a puddle of water. Susan Gregory Drexel is with the Friends of White Rock Lake. It's a group dedicated to preserving the natural resources out here. She's lived nearby all her life and these ghost stories. I can't believe it still affects me. <laughs> it really does. She says have always existed so it's no wonder the lake is now listed on the Reader's Digest list. We don't want to lose our Lady of the Lake story, but we don't want it to turn into something, anything other than what it had been. Needless to say, among the trails and the scenery, some still unexplained encounters lay here. Clearly these stories are out there, people know of them, but you personally, do you think that this lake is haunted? <laughs> this lake is haunted. I'm sorry to say, I've read the stories and I've read them again, and somehow, some way, this lake has to be haunted in some way. At the haunted White Rock Lake, I'm Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. Okay.